The U.S. military shot down a Chinese high-altitude balloon, is trying to recover the wreckage, saying it was checking for spy and reconnaissance equipment. Before going further, please subscribe to my channel, thank you. The U.S. military has shot down a suspected Chinese high-altitude balloon over the Atlantic Ocean off the U.S. East Coast, CNN reported, citing a U.S. official. The shooting down of the balloon was captured live on camera by several U.S. television outlets. An operation to recover the debris is underway, according to the Associated Press. At 14.39 local time on Saturday, February 4, F-22 fighter jets used missiles to shoot down the giant balloon near the East Coast. The United States says the balloon has been monitoring major military bases across the country. China's foreign ministry later said it expressed strong dissatisfaction and protest over the use of force by the U.S. to attack civilian unmanned airships. Footage from U.S. television networks showed the balloon crashing into the sea after a minor explosion. An F-22 stealth fighter attacked the high-altitude balloon with an AIM-9X Sidewinder close-range thermal image-guided air-to-air missile. Later, a defense official told reporters that the balloon went down about six nautical miles off the U.S. coast. The balloon first entered U.S. airspace on January 28, entered Canadian airspace three days later, and re-entered U.S. airspace on January 31, U.S. defense officials said on February 4. The balloon was found in the northeastern state of Montana, which is home to many sensitive nuclear missile sites. US defense officials also told US media that debris from the balloon had landed in 47 feet, 14 meters of water off the coast of Myrtle, South Carolina, shallower than expected. A senior military official told US media CNN that the balloon debris recovery should be fairly easy and take a relatively short time. The official added that the U.S. military could deploy capable Navy divers to assist in the operation. The balloon had been flying at an altitude of about 60,000 feet, 18,000 meters, according to a Pentagon release. According to a U.S. official, the payload, the part of the balloon that goes under it, is the size of two or three buses, while the balloon itself is larger. Asked about the balloon earlier on Saturday, U.S. President Joe Biden said, we'll take care of that. Before the operation, the Federal Aviation Administration and the Coast Guard worked to clear the air and water below the balloon when it reached the ocean. Live television footage showed a small explosion followed by the balloon descending towards the water. Us military aircraft were seen flying nearby, and ships were deployed in the water to carry out recovery operations. The U.S. Coast Guard advised ships to leave the area immediately because of the significant risk posed by the military action to be taken by the U.S. Mr. Biden, who was first briefed on the balloon on Tuesday, had favored shooting it down over land, but top Pentagon officials warned of potential risks to personnel on the ground. China's foreign ministry has repeatedly claimed that the high-altitude balloons, described by the U.S. side, are civilian airships from China, which are used for meteorological and other scientific research. That claim was denied by the Pentagon on Friday. U.S. officials said Friday that Chinese balloons have briefly passed over the U.S. mainland at least three times during the Trump administration, but never publicly, according to the Associated Press. Defense Department spokesman Tom Ryder confirmed that there have been other incidents in which balloons have approached or crossed the U.S. border, but he and others agreed that what made this one different was the length of time it stayed over U.S. territory and how far into the country it penetrated. To be sure, the latest U.S. claim that the balloon is maneuverable is questionable, much less a reason why the U.S. military can't handle it. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesman said on Wednesday that it was an unmanned airship that had gone out of control and was being used for meteorological research. China's foreign ministry issued a statement saying that the U.S. had insisted on using force, obviously overreacted and seriously violated international norms against the civilian airship, and that China reserved the right to make further necessary responses. After the balloon was shot down, Mr. Biden said. They managed to bring it down. I give our pilots credit. America's top diplomat, Secretary of State Blinken, told the Chinese ahead of the February 5-6 visit that he was canceling an upcoming trip to China, calling it an irresponsible act. It was to have been the first such high-level meeting between the United States and China in years. China's foreign ministry responded that the two sides had no plans to formally announce the visit. The statement also criticized the U.S. for attacking and smearing China. On February 3, the Pentagon said it had spotted a second Chinese spy balloon, this time over Latin America, with large sightings reported over Costa Rica and Venezuela. So far, China has made no public comment on the second balloon. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel, share and comment, thank you.